Okay, so I figured I would do a quick video on a tool I use occasionally anytime I buy a new hard drive or I want to do hard drive maintenance. And it's called Spinrite. It's a tool you need to purchase and it works on any operating system, basically anything that uses a hard drive, even, you know, PS4s, PS5s, TiVos, anything that has a storage device. It's called Spinrite. And it's not free, so you'll have to buy it. So I'll go th through and show you how to, where to go to purchase it, and then how it works. So we have our browser pulled up here. We're gonna search for Spinrite. It's kind of spelled a little bit goofy, but this is the link you want here, the GRC. And here it is, Spinrite 6. You're gonna scroll down here. You can read the reviews and see how it works, but you'll have to go all the way down to the bottom and click Buy Spin Rate. If it's your first time purchasing it, as you can see, they raised the price since I bought it a few years ago. Now it's up to $89. I can't remember if they charge you tax or not, but what that's going to do, it's going to give you an ISO file, like a bootable ISO file. You'll have to create a bootable flash drive or an optical disk drive from that. And once you do that, it, it walks you through the process. I think it even has a tool that helps you create the bootable disk. But once you do that, you can, you'll have to switch your computer over to boot to that disk. And that's what we're gonna do right here. I have the, the Oracle VM. We're gonna do it inside of a virtual machine since it's kinda hard to record through a physical device. So we'll go ahead and power up this spin rate machine I got here and we'll keep going. Okay, so here we are at the main menu of the spin rate screen. So what I like to do is I'll go to number two, where it says viewer change settings. We'll click there, and you can see number one, it says selected spin rate operations. So we'll click there, and I'll show you the different levels you can perform. So you have to be careful here. If you are running this software on an SSD or an NVMe drive or a USB thumbstick, you only want to select number one because all that's going to do is read data. It won't flip the bits from zero to one, which is what the other levels do. So you just have to be careful of that. If you know anything about flash memory, you know that it is susceptible to burning. So basically, if you go through and start writing over data crazy, like what level two, three, four, five are going to do, it can actually ruin your hard disk. So you just have to keep that in mind. If you're running a standard spinning hard disk, you're good. You can use whatever level you want. But if you're using flash memory, like I said before, an SSD drive or an NVMe drive or a thumbstick, just stick to level one. So what we're going to do, just for example, we're going to pick level one here because it's the quickest. And like I said, I don't mess with any of the other settings. So we're going to hit escape. We're going to select the drives number one. And this is going to look a little bit different because I'm on a virtual machine and you're going to be on a physical device. But whenever you select the drive you want to perform the operation on, you're going to hit spacebar and you can see the little square root symbol appears over to the left. And you're going to hit enter. And this just tells you exactly what it's going to do. So you're going to pick and hit enter again. And it's going to go through and check your hard disk. Level 1 is probably what you want to stick with. If you buy a new hard drive, that's usually what I like to do. You, but even if you have a brand new hard drive, there can still be errors on it. So running level one is the quickest way to just go through and check and make sure there's no factory defects on it. If you have time, you can run a level two or three. That's going to be even better for you. But level one is usually the quickest. It takes probably about a couple hours per terabyte. Level two and three, it's kind of an exponential increase, so they might take 20 or 30 hours and here we are at the final result screen as you can see we are 100 percent completed this ran like i said way faster than it will on your physical device because this is a virtual machine so it doesn't have to actually spin a physical hard disk so just remember if you're running this on an ssd or nvme drive stick to level one if you have a regular hard drive you can pick pretty much whatever you want it's it's really dependent on how much time you have like I said, each one of the levels is additive. So if you have enough time, you could just go whole hog and run a number five and let it sit there for a week and you know check your hard drive. But for most people, the level one is probably gonna be good and probably the safest. So that should be about it.
Thanks for watching.